Congratulations. Damage done this morning. How pleased were you with your game? Uh, this morning? It was okay. Uh, I scored okay. The, the centuries make it look better, I think. Okay. Uh, I didn't feel my best, but I felt like he never really was going to score. He didn't give any impression that he was going to mm. score heavy at any point, and that gives you more confidence. Uh, so I was happy to get an early night's sleep. No 10 2. You take that every day. How difficult is it? You know, I often. When I used to cover the darts, we talked about when your opponent doesn't quite turn up, it can drag you down a little bit, you know, because you're really playing against yourself at times, and especially tonight, you look beaten very early. Yeah, I think the final frame of the session today uh, was a big one, six threes back in the game, whereas I won a tight frame there, could have went either way. But yeah, 7 2, it's a bad one if you lose it from 7 2, you just mm. don't have to do anything silly. Uh, and I felt like I played the right shots at the right time. I didn't score as heavy tonight as I would like, but yeah, yeah, didn't really make many mistakes. How are you enjoying this? I know it's only a few fans back in, but I'm so glad we're not having someone pressing buttons. Just the human contact a little bit again, within reason, being sensible. We're having a great time. How have you started it? It's great just to have any sort of fans back. That's why we play the game. You want to play in front of packed arenas, and if you can get through a few rounds here, I've been, I think it's up to 50% for the quarters and semis and yeah. 100% for the final, so that would be the dream come true. This is why we play. You want to play in packed arenas, and it hasn't been a lot of fun this year, as much as World Snooker and Barry in particular have done an amazing job. It hasn't been a lot of fun playing behind closed doors all the time. Tell, tell me something. I've never asked you about this, but you know the match last year, you started so well against Jamie Clark and lost. A lot of people have said, oh, you know, you kind of eased him into the crucible, you were speaking between frames and all that. Would you change anything, you know, being too friendly with your opponent, or how do you feel about that? It's interesting, that, because I did hear that at the time, but for me, I feel like I'm a friendly guy. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm not going to be the opposite of what I am. No idea. I, I want to win, don't get me wrong. I want to try my best. When it's my shot, I'm zoned in. No, me yeah. saying good break or you no know, nice clearance or something like that. It's not going to upset my own rhythm. And I feel like yeah, it takes two seconds just to be played to someone. But does it help the guy you're playing too much more than you'd want it to? That's the question. I, I don't really care. No, if mm. I play well, I feel like mm. I'll win. Yeah. Mm. So I didn't play well enough last year. Mm. I know I made six centuries, but... Well, it was a strange yeah. match. I mean, it was a strange match because take the six centuries out. I know it's a big chunk to take out, but I didn't play well. Mm. No, I missed the important balls at the important times and Jamie didn't. No, that's the bottom line. It's not whether I'm talking to him in my seat or anything like that. It's nice to be nice. It's good to hear that. That's refreshing. No, it's, a, it's, it's 2021. I like that. Do you know what I mean? Very... I've got a lasting impression from my first time at the Crucible. Uh, Ken Doherty made 135 to go 7 all on my debut. I was under all sorts of pressure and I said good break to him. And he didn't give me a response. <laughs> nice. and I, I thought like it takes two seconds just to say thanks. Me and Ken yeah. get on well now, don't get me wrong. But I was fired up then from 7 all and I beat him 10-7. Yeah. I just thought... Well, it takes two seconds to say thanks. I'm glad someone's finally outed Ken Doherty as not being a nice guy. We all know it in the business, but, you know, he rules with an iron fist. We fear him, so I'm glad someone's finally pointed out. Everyone's different, though. <laughs> Everyone's different. I don't think everyone can be like that. You no. know, all the years I've played here, not many people would speak to you. Alex Higgins, strangely enough, did speak between friends, and I was a bit overawed by it, but, um, you know, some people, they just haven't got it in them to speak, and I, I, I'm OK with that if that's the way they are, you know? It's hmm. different if it's someone that... I don't particularly get on with or someone that I don't socialise with yeah. off the table but if I was playing like Steve Maguire I'm mm. not going to not talk to him no, he's one of my so. best mates so yeah. I want to beat him I want to beat him bad just to bragging rights yeah. but I'm not going to be rude It's just that this venue is the one place where you are right next to the guy yeah. there's nowhere else yeah. like it where it's more. It's sometimes more awkward not to speak to the, the guy right. you're, you're, you're playing against you know Right well, What about if you're having to say good break to somebody in the last 16 would you rather you were saying it to Kurt Mafflin or, or Mark Selby? I don't have any preference at all. Uh, I think they had a cracking game here a few years ago yeah. with Mark and Free 10 9. Kurt, in my opinion, is knocking on the door of that top 16. He missed a few events at the turn of the year. I'm not sure why. Uh, I think he'll be top 16 soon. Mm. Uh, it's going to be a very, very tough match and one that I can just sit back and enjoy them. So no battle it out. Yeah, OK, listen, every day we've had the audience being very interactive. They were deciding yesterday who's most likely to win their first world title. We have a different question every day. We asked a really straightforward one tonight. It's been a lot of fun, which is the 13-year club for arguably the most entertaining players ever left a queue. Who's the best of them all? Have a look at this. This is the final result and see what you would have went for. So Ronnie, Jimmy, Judd and Alex spanning all the generations right to the modern-day world number one. Ronnie's won it at a canter, 69%. You can understand that absolutely. You know who I voted for, right? I know who you'd vote for, but just... 
talk talk me through what you would have clicked. No, honestly, like obviously you'd think I'd vote for Alex, but look, Ronnie, no one makes the game look as easy as O'Sullivan does when he's in full flow. Uh, there's no question about that. Ronnie's won at a canter. I'm surprised it's not by more. Right. What well, what is it about him then that sets him apart from the you know in terms of the most entertaining? I suppose it's switching hands. It's all sorts of yeah, stuff. Yeah, like the other three there on that list probably play more flamboyant shots. Yeah. But Ronnie just makes it look stupidly easy, yeah. and the game's not that easy. Uh, his cue ball control's unbelievably good. And I think then it leads to not very missed pots because he's yeah. always so close to the next ball. Makes it look very, very easy. Yeah, absolutely. Well, listen, we're closing that poll. Thank you for your thousands of votes because we got another one for you tonight. Can't wait to get the guys' take. It's just for a bit of fun, really, at this stage. We could be in Shredsville. It could be a one-visit frame. We don't think it will be. we got a swing going here. It's open now. Eurosport.com forward slash vote. Who takes this decider? Ding we or Stuart Bingham. Listen, players say they don't look at the draw, but I'm assuming. Look at that, brilliant. That was one vote. Don't give it a while. But Stuart Bingham was the one qualifier, former world champion, Masters season before last. You're, you're just, you didn't, you wouldn't want him. There was a few this year you didn't want. Uh, Stuart was the main one. Uh, tough match for anyone. No, pro probably favourite against a few of the top 16. Look at this. It's just for fun. It's hard to predict, right? They've had to go off and come back on it. It is this absolutely weird situation we don't get often, but... Where do you stand on that on TV? What, would, you, would you not rather they played to finish we, later? Who gets that decision? We we love it. We'll go world snigger have a set cut-off time, so no matter yeah. what, if you've got three frames left, if you've got two, if you've got one, it, it doesn't matter. So it's the right thing to pull them off well, with one frame left, because uh, that's just... You have to have a hard fast. It's what they've you know? always done. Done. That's what they've yeah. always done. I yeah. don't know why that makes it right or wrong. Because Dingnett yeah. was in that position. He made, played Michael Wosley, if you remember, years ago. He, yeah. he was 9 8 up and they came back late at night. And, and Michael Wosley, not on the tour for years, beat him. So he, they've all been. It's a we've tough one. I know it is the same for everyone, but I remember a match Ali Carter and Barry Hawkins. That's the right. year Ali got to the final and made a max. Uh, and he was completely gone. He was yeah. 7 2 up. Barry came back to 9 all. There was only one winner if they'd stayed on. And all of a sudden, Ali wins, makes a match the next round against Ebden, mm. gets to the final. And the Hawk had never won a match at the Cruise Ball then. Five years without winning the match, you think of all his record now, but that's what it was. I remember when they pulled them off the table, the Hawk sort of stood there in amazement, well, didn't he? I, I was actually the match starting that night on yeah. that table, and I actually said to Mike Ganley, look, I don't mind waiting if my opponent's all right, yeah. but he said, no, it's a strict rule, but yeah. Yeah. It's, a, it's a very, very tough one. Then the problem is, though, you get a player that has the opposite view of you and says, well, hold on. I've set my day up, I've eaten at a certain time, I've come to the venue, I've got my practice and I go on, because all players are different. Why should I have to wait because their last three frames were half an hour each, which is what the last three frames were, over half an hour. Yeah, but if, so, you but know, if you're ready to play at 7 o'clock, you're not going to be out of your rhythm too much if you're playing at quarter to 8 or 8 o'clock and the mm. other guys get a fair crack at no playing the match. Yeah. The right time. Depends it, how many frames are left. It could be like yeah. seven or and then you could be. No. Look, I think yeah, if it's, it's just one. I'm only on about if it's one more frame. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, if yeah, it's nine all, I don't think they should be pulled off. Yeah. No. Well, 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 you know what? The two players had a very different reaction. I don't know if you've seen I, this. I, I didn't see it, but yeah, I did hear. It's <laughs> absolutely fantastic. Yeah, no, you really it's enjoy it. And by the way, look at the vote so far. Yeah, there's yeah, absolutely yeah, nothing yeah, to choose. Have a listen in. No seven. Off you, he said, sling your <laughs> Just check run. with Mike uh, what time you need to be He's back. got his mask yeah. on, not, not worried at all, unflappable. Yeah. Ding knows the rules. <laughs> He's had his mask on yeah. for, you and know, I've, 30 seconds. I've seen Jan getting a bit of flack on social media, and it's obviously not his, his decision. He's only enforcing the rules, but, yeah, yeah it's not ideal for both players. Yeah. Like, if that set, if our match had went 10-9... Now, what time would they have got on tonight? It would have yeah. been quite unfair to one for one frame for that. It, it, it feels to, to me like you're damned if you do, damned if you don't. You know, you have to have a hard and fast rule one way or the other. Maybe they could look to change in that, but in terms of you say there's one frame, one frame left, that, I know like, what you're saying, but I don't think they've done anything wrong, essentially. There's so many tournaments in the year that there's roll-on, roll-off matches and players are waiting around to play, so why should it be any different here? I yeah. can see what you're saying. I can see what you're saying. I mean, as, as far as the drama as a complete neutral that we are, I think we're looking forward to this one on frame, but it's not about us the way, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's like, yeah. you're probably going to watch it if you're not busy, or you're not no. you're probably you've got press to do, but you know. No, I've, I've do, I think I've done everything now, so yeah, yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll still not be watching. <laughs> really? <laughs> really? You I could miss this site? I wouldn't miss it. I don't watch a lot. Crawl across no, glass watch, to see I, this. I don't watch a lot. It, it, it annoys me watching. It's a deciding frame between Ding Xinhui and Stuart Bingham being Good pulled luck to out. Them. Look, look at this. Look at the audience. They cannot decide. Slight favourite Ding Xinhui, but that's what is brilliant about it. So absolutely, maybe look at it from the point of view the players are out there stand, but from a spectator's point of view, I'm happy with this.
Yeah, look, that's that's the way it is. It's the way it's always been. World championships in the past have been decided this way. Yeah. I think it's okay, but I get the point. You know, nine all they might have actually finished in time mm. because it was, I think, just after six. But hey, the rules have been made, and then we've got to decide to watch. Yeah. Well, listen, whatever you're going to do, watch it or not, we'll let you go into the night very you early. Can, you just, can let me know who wins. Yeah, <laughs> just coming up to half past eight, so you deserve your night off after your performance today. Congratulations you. to you.